What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how and when to calibrate the IMU on your DJI Mavic 2. Now this tutorial will work with both Mavic 2 drones, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom as they're essentially the same drone, they have the same body, except they just carry different cameras. For those of you wondering, the IMU is the inertial measurement unit. It is a single electronic unit that houses two different sensors. The first is the accelerometer triad, which ultimately deals with the acceleration of your drone. The second is the angular rate triad, which detects changes in rotational attributes such as pitch, roll, and yaw. Now, if that explanation went over your head, the IMU essentially compiles information and data to keep the drone balanced during flight. Now there are a few set times where you'd want to calibrate the IMU of your Mavic 2. The first being as soon as you take it out of the box or at least before your first flight. Being transported by an aircraft and also sitting there in the box for who knows how long could mess with that initial calibration. So it's always good to just recalibrate the IMU before your first flight. Now the second time you'd want to do this is if you notice any irregularities when you're flying. So let's say you're hovering there and maybe the drone is drifting to the side and you're not pushing any of the sticks or if the drone is just not flying straight when you want it to. Calibrate the IMU as again the inertial measurement unit has to deal with the balance of your drone and that should fix it right up. The third time is going to be after any crash. I mean, even if you just bump it into the wall, bump it into a tree, it's always good to just calibrate the IMU. Another time that you would want to calibrate the IMU is obviously when you see any IMU errors within the DJI GO application. Now, one thing you don't want to do is calibrate the IMU before every single flight. It's a very time consuming process and it's best done in a controlled area like your house. And you're going to see why when I walk you through the steps of how to calibrate the IMU, which let's get into that. The first thing that we need to do is make sure we have a level surface. I like to use this level app on my iPhone to be sure that the surface I'm using isn't terribly off balance. Next, we need to prep the drone for calibration by removing the propellers, removing the gimbal guard, and then turning on both the Mavic 2 and remote. To begin our IMU calibration, simply tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to the main controller settings, swipe all the way down to advanced settings, scroll down to the middle of the page and select sensors. And then once you're here, tap on calibrate IMU. Now, once you are all set up and ready to go, click on start and follow along with the pictures that are provided on the screen. Stand by as the pictures cycle through or follow along with me as I calibrate the IMU on my Mavic 2. Now, if you look at the pictures, you'll see that they still have the propellers on the Mavic 2. I myself like to take them off. You guys know when you turn on the drone, the actual propellers start to twitch around a little bit as the motors are warming up. And when you have it all folded together, sometimes the propellers can get stuck on each other and it just causes a mess. So really just to save myself from having a headache, I like to take off the propellers entirely. Also, I want to talk to you guys about something called a cold IMU calibration. If you guys have done some research on calibrating the IMU, some people actually suggest to do it in a colder temperature so that when you turn the drone on, the IMU warms up faster. It's used to that colder temperature. Now, I've never tried this personally. I've never tested it to see if it's any quicker. You guys could do that if you'd like. Maybe try to do it in a colder area. But at the end of the day, I just like to do it on my table, room temperature, and it all works fine. Now, while an IMU calibration won't fix all of your problems, it's definitely the first step if you're noticing anything going wrong with your drone. Try that because if you head over to DJ support with any of your issues, like my drone isn't flying right, that's gonna be the first thing that they tell you to do. And once you're talking to them, you can say, hey, I've already tried that. Anyway, guys, I hope that this helped all of the new Mavic 2 owners out there, whether you've got the Zoom or the Pro, it's definitely important to calibrate your IMU. But guys, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.